Hi guys, so hopefully you've had some time to think about this question and let's let's look at it together, okay? Consider the medical diagnosis problem of classifying tumors as malignant or benign. If a hypothesis, if a model has overfitted the training set, what does that mean? So let's look each of these let, let's look at each of these answers one by one and, and, and comment on them. Okay. It makes accurate predictions for examples in the training set, okay, and generalizes well. That means that it makes accurate predictions on new previously unseen examples. Well, th this is perfect. This is what we want. So th this is not overfitting. This is this is our target. This is what we aim for. Second, it does not make accurate predictions for examples in the training set. Well, that is not good so far. But it does generalize well to make accurate predictions on new previously unseen examples. Well, that is very weird. I mean, how how would you do it well on new data when you don't do it well even not not even on training data? That is really bizarre. That if if that happens to me, what I do is to look at the code, assuming that I've I've I have a bug. I've made a, a mistake somewhere. So this is really weird, really bizarre, something to look at. Third, it makes accurate predictions, for example, in the training set. So far, so good. But it does not generalize well to make accurate predictions on new, previously unseen examples. That is not good. That is not good. And this is, this is the definition of overfitting. We're fitting the training set really well but too well. We're capturing part of the noise, part of the random component in the training data. And, and that's why we, we don't generalize well. When, when we look at new data, which, which is another sample of the underlying process, the random component is different and then we don't do well. That is the right answer. We're, we're overfitting in, in answer three. And finally, answer four says that we don't make accurate, accurate predictions in the training set and in the test set on, on, on new data. So th this could be underfitting. This could be that our model is too simple and it's not um, sophisticated enough. It doesn't have the, it, it's not flexible enough to capture the relationship between the input and, and the output. So, so answer four could, could be underfitting. Okay, for the green and black fits, answer each of the following questions. So let, let's start with the green. Is the model structure underfitting or overfitting? Well, I mean, it, it really looks like it's overfitting, right? It's uh, this a decision boundary. It's separating the two regions perfectly well. So actually our training error is zero and and, and the curve, the, the decision boundary looks too wiggly, right? It, it doesn't look like if we take a new, a new data point could, that could be here, this model is going to predict right. So I would say this is overfitting. Is the bias of this model structure high or low? Well, the, the bias is very low. It, 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 this model is really flexible. Okay, so, so it can adapt to it looks like it can adapt to any training any training set is the variance of this model structure high or low well since it's very flexible one would think that if we take another training set this line this decision boundary would change a lot and that is that means that it has a lot of variance it's it's going to change a lot when we fit this model um, with another training set. Is the training error high or low? Well, it, it looks like it is zero in this case. It looks like we're separating the red dots and the blue dots perfectly well. And would you expect the test error to be high or low? The test error is the error that we have on new data and I would expect it to be fairly high. On the other hand, the black line looks about right, I would say, and, and, and certainly it looks better than the, than the green line. It's a, it's a less flexible model. Its bias would be slightly higher, um, but it, it variance would be lower. And all in all, it looks like the, 
the test error, the error we would make on new predictions, which is what we're interested on, uh, would, be, would be lower in this case. Similar question for a regression problem rather than a, a classification problem. Here the output variable is quantitative, so this is a regression problem. And we're going to look at the blue line. The blue line, again, it, it looks like a, a clear overfit, okay? The training error is zero. We're going through each and every point. So the, the, the bias of this model is, is, is low. It seems like it has enough uh, degrees of freedom as to adapt to very complex patterns. On the other hand, the variance is very high. If we take another training set, this blue curve will probably change a lot. That, that means that the variance is very high. The training error is again zero here. We're going through every point in the training set, but I would expect the test error, the error we make on predictions on new data to be pretty high. And the, the black line is um, a simpler model so its bias will be higher, its variance will be lower, and all in all, it seems like the test error for this black line, I would guess, will be probably lower than, than the test error for the, for the blue line. And in this last slide of this video, what I want to emphasize is that we've talked about underfitting and overfitting and the example we used was uh, polynomials and we were able to to move in this range of complexity by adding more and more degrees to this polynomial because when you add uh, another degree uh, w when you have a polynomial of higher degree what you're adding is degrees of freedom but these degrees of freedom in general they don't have to come necessarily with a degree, like in a polynomial. They could be new variables. So when we include new input variables in a model, we're effectively adding degrees of freedom. And by doing that, we're making our model more flexible. And by doing that, if we add more and more input variables, we may start running the risk of overfitting the data. So to conclude, what I really want you to, to learn in this video is that adding more and more input variables is not necessarily good. You, we may end up overfitting the data and when we overfit the data, we are, we are likely to, to make bad predictions on new data. And what we want is to make good predictions on new data. So I'll see you on the next video. We're doing great, guys. Keep it up.